the ABCs of superhero and comic book movies. A is for Avengers. A symbol if you're across the pond. B is for Batman Begins. Chris Nolan's James Bond. C is for The Crow. The greatest of all supernatural undead vigilantes in tight pants. D is for Daredevil, which most fans glare at askance. Because the plot is totally absent unless you watch the director's cut. E is for Electra. Because it starts with an E. F is for the Fantastic Four. Once rebooted, we'll have three. Unless you count that unreleased one that was made just to hold the franchise rights. D is for Green Lantern, which barely made a buck. H is for Hellboy. Because I didn't want to say Howard the Duck. I is for Iron Man. Who has proof he's got a heart? Day is for Dud Dread. But just watch Dread without the judge. Consider the Sly Stallone version a false start. K is for Kickass, which really kinda does. L is for the League of Extraordinary Gentlemen, which doesn't or rhyme. M is for the Max. It's smoking funny every time. N is for Nick Fury, Agent of Shield. Yeah, the one with Hasselhoff. It's impossible to find and pretty silly, but it's the only one that starts with an N at all. O is for Oblivion, which no one knew was a comic in which Tom Cruise couldn't save. P is for the Punisher. Take your pick. I like Thomas Jane. R is for the Walker Teal. An underrated adventure I must applaud. S is for Superman 2. Neil before Zod. T is for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. The first and the best. U is for Underdog. Time we laid that pooch to rest. V is for V for Vendetta. And Alan Moore's unsanctioned adaptations have made our list twice. W is for Watchmen. Rorschach's journal. <sighs> That's thrice. X is for X two. Where mutants come out of hiding, unembarrassed. Z is for the Max of Zorro. With Antonio Banderas. What? No Q. Ah, where's Y? You inquire with chagrin. Well, there are no comic book or superhero movies yet. Where those letters factor in, might we someday see a question film or a Quicksilver standalone movie? There's nothing so demanding for why, though. That one's quite the doozy. Sure, why the Last Man, but there's not much in the way of superheroes. And Yellow Jacket's Hank Pym, who's already almost in theaters. Well, go on now, pop some popcorn and see these films. A lot of them are fun. If you're nuts enough to watch this whole list in order, leave a comment when you're done. And if you take that wacky challenge, just remember, it could be worse. You'd have to watch all the bad movies I didn't list if you were bound to my curse. I wish I could have named only great films, but the cinema gods aren't so kind. Such is the fate of he who hosts superhero rewind. Hey, Dad, can I go watch Avengers now?